Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Rich at StrikesUpSports.com. Today's video, I just want to talk about you know the you know the upcoming season for the Memphis Tigers men's basketball program, and you know break discuss if that's a chance of this program underachieving um, this season. You know, given everything that that has happened, everything that has transpired, the moves that have been made. You know, the progress that the program, you know, made during the past season, that it made back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments. Um, first one, first appearance by Penny Hardaway give a uh, Gonzaga a, a tough game, but eventually um, fell short, which I thought was impressive. Second tournament appearance, lost to uh, an eventual Final Four team, Florida Atlantic Owls, which is now a part of the uh, AAC, and you know, he had a you know the program had a mass exodus of players leaving, you know, going for the draft, going to the draft. One guy, uh, players uh, transfer, hit the transfer portal, and play, players just you know out of eligibility, you know, all three factors uh, led to that. Uh, those are departures, but Hardaway, you know, you know, got in his bag and, and hit that tra hit the transfer portal pretty hard. We had some really good players, you know, really good uh, players that can help out, um, guys that can be capable of playing that um, playing that uh, Kendry Davis role, you know, just guys that can, you know, I think the guys that have had, had experience, you know. Going to the tournament with other teams, and a lot of you know pundits out there, you know college basketball analysts, you know, are, you know, pagan that peg has tagged Memphis as a a dark horse team that could get to the Final Four. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of while people may have Florida Atlantic winning the conference this season, which I saw last week in a lot of people's previews, Memphis is the team that. You know, uh, certain people are choosing to like make a deep run to the Final Four. Now, with that being said, is there a chance that this team's program can underachieve this season? Um, it's possible. I think it's possible. Slightly, slightly, it's possible, but I don't see it happening. You know, I was, I know, and what I, what do I define as underachieving? I define underachieving as the Tigers um, clawing, scrapping and clawing during the final couple of weeks of the college basketball basketball season to get to the tournament, to make to you know make themselves eligible for the tournament. Uh, that's what I find. That's what I call um, underachieving. Um, another first round exit. Even though it is possible, you know, it's March of Madness and all that, but I think I found that underachieving. You know what I'm saying? I think I think this program is well equipped to go on the run. That's what I think. If you read my preview from last week, my 2023 2024 season preview on the program, I think they can make it need it and then the Elite Eight this season. That's how talented I think they are. You know what I'm saying? You got guys that you got multiple guys that can score points on this team. That probably I think multiple guys that can go backpacking. You know what I'm saying? And carry this team if they have to, like a Kendrick Davis did last year, or DeAndre Williams. DeAndre Williams. You know what I'm saying? And if you get DeAndre Williams back, that makes your team even more deeper than what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, underachieving, is to me, underachieving to me is not making a tournament at all. You know, going playing for the NIT. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think they can win the conference. You know, underachieving to me is you allowing, you know, teams that you fall better than beat you. Like, similar to that, that 2019 season, that 20. 20 season that COVID year where you you know you was better than these programs but you fell short 
You know what I'm saying? I think you got guys that are way mature than those rosters on this team. You know what I'm saying? That's that's unachieving to me, man. You clawing, fight scrapping and clawing to get to the tournament. This year, man, you should be like, I know you got a, a, like a tough, a slightly tough um, out of conference schedule, but you should be out of that that um, Joe Lenardi's last four ran or last four buys and you know things like that this season. You should be nowhere near that that type of uh, round. You should be a tournament team, a team that's in the tournament. You know, people. I was like, the last one I read, Lenardi was like Memphis was like a seven seed. You know what I'm saying? So that should be no last four buys and last four wins or uh, first four wild things like that. You should be nowhere near that that um that realm of season. Because outside of FAU, um, and maybe Tulane to a certain extent because they did beat you twice last year in the regular season. Memphis is like one of the best team in that, in that, uh, in that conference. You should have no issues with those opponents this year. You shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So, underachieving to me, I don't think this program was going to underachieve, but that's a slight chance because it just, Memphis on, every, when teams see Memphis on that schedule this season, that's everybody's Super Bowl. That's everybody's March Madness moment. March Madness game. You know, they have that game circle. And in the past, we have seen it. You know, teams that, that Memphis may be far superior than will give Memphis a tough game, a tough way to go. You know what I'm saying? So, you yeah, have that, that um, factor in as well. But, like I said, with the guys you have on this roster, um, Hopefully that everyone, everybody's bought in to the vision. The Tigers should be taking care of business this year, man. It should be no um, areas of no levels of underachieving this season at all. I think the team is, is that special. You know, um, a veteran lane squad that you're not really counting on freshman talent to, like, get you over the hump. And I'm not knocking these guys we have now with J.J. Taylor, Carl Sheriff, and those, uh, Ashton Hardaway. I'm not knocking those guys or anything like that, but I'm just glad that you don't have, you're not counting on those guys to, like, be um, become big-time contributors for you. And if they do, great. But if they come in and chip in and play their part for right now, that's great as well. You know what I'm saying? So we, we'll... We'll, we'll just um, we'll have to see how it's going to play out, man. But there's always going to be a chance of them, a slight chance of them underachieving this season. But I don't still see it this year, man. I don't see it this year. You know, I don't see I don't see FAU being the juggernaut that they are either. But we'll see how it's going to play out. Okay. All right. So that feel up right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like. Know feel? Do you think that's a chance that Memphis can underachieve this season? Also, check out strikeservice.com for his content on the Memphis Tigers football, basketball program, along with Grizzlies, NBA content, and NFL content as well. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.